What's up, Screen Fiends? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be discussing one of my very most anticipated films of 2022, the already infamous Monsters movie, directed by Rob Zombie himself, who happens to be one of my favorite horror filmmakers working today. Rob Zombie, the director of House of a Thousand Corpses, Halloween, and The Devil's Rejects, brings you the greatest love story ever told. If you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that like button. And also subscribe for more movie news and reviews coming soon. So when I heard that Rob Zombie was making a movie based on the Munsters, the classic sitcom from the 60s, I think I had the same reaction that a lot of people did. I figured that Zombie's version of this series would be blood-soaked, raunchy, and hard R, just like every other feature film that this dude has ever directed. I also figured that the titular Munster family would be reinvented, as white trash weirdos in typical zombie fashion, much like the Myers family in his remake of Halloween. However, I was dead wrong, no pun intended. Zombie's adaptation of the Munsters, which is actually a prequel to the original sitcom, plays it pretty straight. It's a PG-rated film and is clearly trying to channel the same sort of wholesome energy and humor of the original series. Speaking of the original series, by the way, it holds up really well. I decided to rewatch some of the episodes in preparation for this release, and I was pleasantly surprised by just how funny and entertaining it still is. So this morning, when I went to watch The Monsters on Netflix, it's now you know publicly available for all to see. I was not quite sure what to expect, right? And after watching it, I have to say I was pleasantly surprised. Much like Rob Zombie's other directorial output, The Monsters is definitely rough around the edges, but kind of charming for it. The presentation of this film reminded me a lot of a 90s or early 2000s made-for-TV Halloween special, and what I mean by that is that yes, it's kind of bad, but in that campy, nostalgic way that's still enjoyable, at least for me. I think kids might genuinely enjoy this one too, and it has that sort of nostalgic quality, the cheap made for TV specials are chocked full of, and that some of us adults who are into the horror genre could really appreciate. The camp is turned up to 11 here, and as per usual with Zombie, he is not operating with the critics in mind. This is a Rob Zombie movie through and through, and even though it's kid-friendly, The Monsters is still very clearly a product of his making, for better or worse, depending on whether or not you're a fan. Lucky for me, I am a fan of Rob Zombie, I find his style as a filmmaker to be refreshingly unapologetic, and his voice as a creative to be totally sincere, even when the movies themselves aren't great. With so many bland, forgettable, and inoffensive movies being churned out by Hollywood these days, it's nice to know that an auteur filmmaker like Rob Zombie is still out there, making movies not for the critics, but purely for himself and his fans. So again, as a fan of Rob Zombie myself, I've found a lot to enjoy and appreciate in The Monsters. But if you're not a fan, then this one definitely won't change your mind. In my opinion, the biggest issue with this film is Jeff Daniel Phillips' performance as Herman Munster. Sherry Moon Zombie does a decent job as Lily Munster, and Daniel Robeck's turn as Grandpa absolutely steals the show, with a near-perfect impression of Al Lewis. Seriously, it's insane how good he is in this role. But unfortunately, Jeff Daniel Phillips' interpretation of Herman just falls completely flat. When I was watching some of the episodes from the original sitcom, I was honestly blown away by how good Fred Gwynn was as Herman Munster. His timing was immaculate, and his physical comedy brought so much to that show, creating a character that was genuinely lovable, dopey, and charming in his lack of self-awareness. Seriously, he's the best part of the original show, and it would not have worked without him. But Jeff Daniel Phillips' Herman Munster is significantly less likable. He totally lacks the charm and that innocent naivete that this character requires, and everything from his voice to his facial expressions just seems off. He really fails to channel the unique essence of this classic character, which is a bummer, again, given the fact that Sherry Moon Zombie does a pretty decent job and Daniel Robeck does incredible work here. Ultimately, to me, the Munsters felt like Rob Zombie's excuse to get together with his friends and his favorite collaborators for a big budget Halloween bash. Whether or not you find any enjoyment as a viewer here, I think has a lot to do with whether or not you share Rob Zombie's love for classic Halloween iconography and nostalgia, the Universal monster movies, and so on. If you love stock werewolf sound effects, fog machines cranked up to the max, 
ridiculously over the top lighting and production design as I do, then you'll probably get some level of enjoyment out of this movie, as long as you go in with the right expectations. It's definitely not what I'd call high quality, uh, and it's nowhere near as good as the original Munster show was. Um, but if you view it as a made for TV special, then you might dig it. I can only reiterate this so many times. But I really think that your enjoyment of this film will come down to whether or not you appreciate Rob Zombie's style. If it's not your thing, stay far away from it. But if you're a fan like me, I think this movie might provide that nostalgic Halloween season schlock that you're craving around this time of year. If nothing else, throw it on while you drink some Oktoberfest beers with some friends and have fun laughing your asses off. It's a good time and you'll probably enjoy it for what it is. Again, if you go in with your expectations set properly. Anyway, I'm really interested to hear what you guys thought of this movie. It just came out today. You know, I'm, I'm recording this review on uh, September 27th on Tuesday. The film is on Netflix, available to watch right now. Um, so again, if you've had the chance to check it out, let me know what you think. I'd be fascinated to hear what you guys think of Rob Zombie as a director. Do you like him as much as I do? Uh, am I coming off like a total Rob Zombie apologist in this video? Let me know down below. I'm really excited to hear your guys' opinions. And thanks for tuning in, Screen Fiends. Make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe so you won't miss the next review. And until next time, peace out. <laughs>